<laughs> Hello, I'm your vocal empowerment coach, Dr. Tadman, commenting on the 16th episode of American United, season 8, man, March 3rd, 2009. Don't you love it when you have certain expectations of people, you think you know them and then they change, they come and they do something different but you are counting on getting information or something from them and I think you get my drift from this point. Huh? <laughs> do you love it? Oh my gosh, wait a minute. Just by looking at me, do you, don't you just expect me to sound a certain way and now my voice doesn't quite match my appearance, does it? Is this helping at all? What if I take the hat off? Does that help? Now do I look a little more something? I don't know what. Hey, I happen to be 100% Jamaican blood, right? But I was born in Canada. So what does that make me? <laughs> Jamaican, Canadian, Jamaican. <laughs> don't we love putting people into boxes and defining them? Guess what we're talking about today? Defining yourself as an artist. That's right. All you kids on American Idol are expected to just be something to just come out and do something different. They tell you, oh, we really like it when you sing the high notes. Does that mean you should get a, a song that we have to sing high notes? Or does it mean that you can just appreciate that about your voice? Find a song that you can connect to authentically and bring out the essence of you in it. Does that make a little more sense now? This is what I want you to do. But I know, guys, I know it's hard. Now, tonight, we had artists on that show that knew who they were, that got up there and brought it. And then we had other artists who were still trying to figure it out. And I don't need to sit here and talk to you about who those people were, right? It doesn't really matter who those people were. What matters is that we're learning because everyone is at different levels of awareness and empowerment. And so I'm here to give you guys some tips. I should pick a song that I'm passionate about, that I want to tell a story with, and a song that allows me to move through the essence of my voice and be connected. That's me, right? And this is what this is what all singers need to do. But first, let me give you some more pointers. You might like singing, but do you like your voice? Do you really like your voice? Have you connected to it? Do you know what's special about it? In defining yourself as an artist, the first thing you want to do is to connect to your voice and love it. And if you don't love it yet, get my Practicing with Core Power CD and learn how to resonate. Learn how to connect your voice. There's some really good exercises on here, actually, that it's not just about which is actually really great drill, but there's a lot of other stuff. Learn how to connect yourself, okay? Number one. Number two, define your uniqueness and then find a song that brings out that uniqueness. And number three, be true to yourself, man. Be true to who you are. It doesn't mean you have to sell out, and it doesn't mean you have to pretend like you're Jamaican even though you weren't born there. It just means that you find out who you are, love it, did a song that emphasizes that, and enjoy it. Be connected to it in the process. This will help you to define your image. And remember, you guys, it's good to have a, a little edge. It's good to have a little entertainment. In summary, you don't have to try in order to fly when you realize you are a piece of the sky. Isn't that profound? We really are a piece of the sky. To ants. <laughs> Don't try so hard. Know who you are. Love yourself. That's a wrap for this week. We'll see you next time. Best of luck to all the contestants. If you want my notes, get on the website. I wrote notes and advice to every single contestant that was on the show tonight. You all did really well. Just keep working it. You're great. That's a wrap. For real. Let's say yay.